Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. Uh, this is Vysol playing some, uh, yes, Skies of Arcadia Legends. We are now in the Grand Fortress and uh, what awaiting us inside? Let's find out. Okay, the elevator is coming up with a giant tank on top of it. Okay, straight into battle with us. This is the boss of the uh, Grand Fortress, yes. And it's not a very intimidating boss. He is red once again. Okay, so we will use our tried and true strategy of focusing with everybody except Vice, who will be using a Glyph of Might on himself. This should give us just enough SP next turn to cast the Pirate's Breath once again. But this guy is a tough one. He will not be impressed by just one Pirate's Wrath, he will need two of them. And during this time, this guy can do up to 1800 damage with the Wheel Blast. Okay, so he's targeting Vice. But now, Pina has learned the Sacrulan, and she will be able to heal him up to full. Plus, it only does 1400 damage to Vice. It will have done 18 to the girls, most likely to Finna. Okay, so what will you do? You will maybe use a Sacrilon Crystal because I do not have the, the SP tested this turn. Uh, well, he only took 1400 damage, so really, a Sacrus is good enough. And then focus some more guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, only a little bit below 4000 damage. That is not as good as I would have hoped. What will you do, Mr. Bossman? You don't usually use the Will Blast two turns in a row. Usually you have a little breather, like a, a regular attack. Okay. Alright, so focus. Uh, 1656, eh? I guess you can heal because I don't want you to die. You can have a Sacri, the very worst of your healing crystals. And uh, maybe another Sacri on Vice because I like wasting time stupidly. And then finally, a little bit more focus because we need to be able to finish this guy off next turn or we will not be getting anywhere. Alright, you focus. Giving us 15 SP. Let's try this. Everybody is back up to full HP. That is pretty nice. I like it. And 17. Good. We now have 25 SP next turn. Alright, so do uh, those guys are uh, close together. They will probably get hit by the same attack, which is pretty bad. Yeah, 1600 damage and 1400 damage, uh, 15 uh, almost, that is bad. And that will warrant the use of uh, a Sacrum Crystal. Or not, because Mr. Boss, you are now exploded. That's nice. Oh, you weren't in any real danger there. 2,000 more XP! Very good! And we are now close to level 25 with Vice. And Vice will have one more uh, SP per turn at level 25. So that's awesome! Plus we get five Rizlam crystals here. Very, very useful. And Vice learned the Silenis. Uh, yes, that is the mute command. It will prevent enemy, uh, one enemy from using magic. So very useless. Oh no, the alarm! They finally realized we were here. Okay, this isn't good. In a few seconds, this place is going to be crawling with guards. Quick, get into the lift! Who said that? A gallant voice? I don't know any gallant voices. Someone is telling us to get on that thing. I can't see who it is. Vice, what should we do? Well, if we stay here, we're just going to be murdered anyway, so let's take the lift. If we just stand around here, we're gonna get caught any- Oh yes, you just repeated what I said. Alright, we should take the lift. Well, I didn't remember that. 
That's true. It looks like there's a yeah, that's our only option. All right, let's go into the lift with us. All right, Enrique, what are you doing here? Hail. So you're vice. I am Enrique. Enrique, you're the prince of Valua. <gasps> you're the prince. Ah, uh, yeah, I am. After you escaped from your cells, I figured you'd head for the docks to try and steal a ship. Please follow me. Well, all right, what's going on? Why is the prince helping us? I have no idea, but we should probably follow him. Well, yeah, we should. Okay, through that door then. Let's go! <clears throat> Where are we? What the? Uh huh, this seems to be the bridge of some ship. You've probably f already figured out that we're on the bridge of a ship. I should really start, uh, stop commenting everything because the characters are doing it too and it's redundant. Say hello to the Delphinus, the newest member of the Armada. This is my personal flagship. Oh. <clears throat> It is heavily armored and can still match the top speed of our cru cruisers, and it's uh, and it is equipped with the weaponry of a heavy heavy battleship. It's amazing. <clears throat> it has the advantages of every type of ship all rolled out into one. This ship is the prototype. Soon we will begin building a whole fleet of Delphinus class ships. Valua plans to use this ship to take over the world, and who will stop them? This is an amazing ship! All new, too. With a whole fleet of ships like this, Valua would easily be able to take over the world, especially since Nazareth has fallen. So, your royalness, there's still one thing that I can't figure out. Why would you help us escape, then take us to the bridge of your flagship? You've done. <clears throat> you've gone through a lot of trouble just to show off. Yeah, Gilder has a good point. Music stops. I. I want you to take this ship, and I want you to take me with it. <gasps> what? Are you serious? Value has been taking over other countries by force, destroying their lands and murdering the innocent. As a prince of the Valuan Empire, all of the innocent blood spilled by the Armada is on my hands. Okay, you're, you're taking your duties pretty seriously there. I've done all I can to convince the Empress and Galcian that, that what Value is doing is wrong, but I cannot convince them to change their ways. Yeah, they're pretty stubborn. Everything I have tried has failed. I am powerless to stop them. My only chance for redemption is to aid you. Okay, that makes sense. Please, take me with you. I will even go with you as a hostage. Oof, do we really want to be traveling with the prince of our enemies? Yeah, sure. What could possibly go wrong? Of course you can come with us, but there's, there is one problem. The blue rogues don't take hostages. If you want to sail with us, you must do so as a blue rogue. And you must pledge your oath to the blue rogues god or something. Thank you. I will do my part as a member of your crew. Hey. You know, I don't think we've been properly introduced. I am vice of the blue rogues. Well, we did just meet five minutes ago. It is an honor to be a member of your crew, vice. <laughs> and immediately, vice is the captain, it seems. I, w I never would have thought that, it, that I'd be riding in the same ship as a Valuan, let alone the Prince of Valua. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. But the crystals are still in the hands of the Valuans. Yeah, you're right. Well, technically you are right. What? I have the crystals. I stole them before I came to the docks to find you. I was going to destroy them. How? How do you plan on destroying such concentrated power? Perhaps it would be best if I returned them to you. Please take them. Wow, Enrique, you've done so much for us already. Thank you. 
You've helped us escape, you've given us a ship and the crystals. You act an awful lot like an air pirate for a prince. Alright, start the engines. Let's take the Delphinus and get out of here. Aye aye. You have reacquired the red moon crystal and the green moon crystal. Awesome. And happy music! We finally got a decent ship to sail. Let's go, Delphinus! Full speed ahead! Even just the size of the bridge is ginormous. It gives you a scope for the size of the ship. It is very, very big. It is bigger than the Chameleon, it is bigger than the Lynx, it is bigger than any ship we've fought so far. And everybody can use the instruments right away, especially the girls who have never seen such instruments before. Here you can get, the, get an idea of the size of the Grand Fortress, which is just amazingly immense, really. Look how small the Delphinus is in there. Wow. That is pretty impressive uh, building uh, skills you've got there, Mr. Valuan uh, people. Okay, but uh, they sealed off the entrance. Yeah, they are not going to make the same mistake. Twice. I wouldn't worry too much about the fortress. The spot where I blew up the cannon should be weak. Well, yes, I guess. And if this ship's got the firepower that the prince said, we should be able to blast our way out. Well, here goes. Into battle against the Grand Fortress door itself. Yes, we are fighting a door. Well, it has a lot of cannons on it, but it's still a door. Vice, just to let you know, the Delphinus is equipped with Valuas' newest, most powerful weapon. It's called the Moonstone Cannon. Until recently, it was only an experimental weapon under development by Lord De Loco. He used data collected from the red and green from the red and green jiggers to develop it. He says that this cannon, this cannon's power rivals the power of the jiggers themselves. That is awesome. But the manufacturing cost of this cannon is so immense that this ship is the only ship in the entire armada equipped with one. Ah, so it's our little secret weapon. Wow, that means this ship is as powerful as a Gigas then. I can't believe it. Well then, Vice, let's give her a test run, shall we? Just use the special cannon command and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we now have a special cannon in the Delphinus. The Delphinus comes equipped with prototype cannons, four of them and it is the worst. It is useless. Really it is. So, for now, we will need to do the special cannon. And uh, can you tell me anything about this? No, you will not. Well, I'll tell you then. It costs 20 SP to cast. That's a lot, really. So, let's just focus a bit, guard a bit, and uh, see what we can do. <clears throat> The door will be bombarding us, but uh, it's not so bad. Plus, the Delphinus comes with 36,000 HP base, uh, base HP. And uh, the real good part is every captain stripe you use on the Delphinus raises not 1,000 HP, but 2,000 HP of the max HP of the ship. So it's pretty much broken, this mechanism, but uh, alright. We are taking a little bit of damage, but uh, we can turn. We can tank it, no problem. And since we now have 32 uh, or 36, is it? I'm not sure. Well, since we have now a lot of base HP, the Sacrus is not going to cut it anymore, which is why I was pretty anxious to get the Sacrulan with Fina. So we have a way to heal uh, our ship to full in one action going to be pretty critical later on, but not for now. Okay, so Vice, I'll give you the honor of our first special cannon, and I can just uh, you do an Increm because I like Increms, and uh, why not? 
It's a bit of a waste uh, of an MP there, but uh, who cares really? I got more than enough. Can always go heal up. Here we go. That is an awesome animation, really. Look at this power! We are just blasting through this door in a single shot. 1400 experience, okay, why not? Ooh, very, very close now. And the gear grease, awesome! These are pretty pricey. And uh, let's see. Boom! And yay! Now, you can notice that the Delphinus is a very nice purple color. I can't believe it! We just broke through the Grand Fortress! You sure know how to break in a new ship! Now we can finally continue on our search for the other moon crystals. Yay! Well, Valua, it looks like this is goodbye for now. But we'll treat you better than your mother ever did, so... You've made the right choice there, Enrique. Oh, Ramirez, alone in the eating room of the Grand Fortress. He seems pissed. That's another defeat for you, Mr. Grand Admiral. Yeah, that'll teach you. And cheerful music again, because we are not with Ramirez right now. We did it! We escaped from the Grand Fortress twice! That is quite a feat. Yes, and I'm happy that we're all together again. Some of us are happier than others. Yeah, yeah, you got uh, caught up with uh, Clara there. Oh, Jilder, I'm so happy I'll never let you go. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, bitch? Yeah, really? Oh well. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong, Jilder? You guys make a cute couple! I am very happy for you, Clara. Oh, thank you, Finna. This is too good to be true. This is the happiest day of my life. Okay, don't let go of him, then. I'm really starting to miss that jail cell in Valua. Or the news from the executioner. Well, since we have a new ship, I believe it's time to decide on a captain. Oh, so... Even though this is my ship, I am not an experienced sailor. I would feel more comfortable with someone else at the helm. I know who I'd cast my vote for. Ice, you're the best man for the job. Well, obviously, this is my dream. I agree with Aika. I would feel the most comfortable with you as our captain, so we could stare at, her, at your ass while you're driving the ship. Yes, that's best for everybody. I know what I just... Uh, I know that I just met you, but there's something about you. I think you would make an excellent captain. You're a great sailor, Vice, and a good leader. I think you'd make a great captain. Well, it seems unanimous. Ice, will you accept the responsibility of being captain of the Delphinus? <laughs> Drum roll, and yes, of course we will. I'll do it, I won't let you down. We are the hero of this adventure, we need a ship. That's what I wanted to hear. Besides, wasn't it your dream to be the captain of your own ship someday? Yeah, and the Delphinus isn't just one ship. The Delphinus is going to need a flag. You're right, Aka, every crew should have a flag that symbolizes what they stand for. Do you have women on your flag? Why don't we start working on one now? The Delphinus should uh, have a flag as soon as possible. You're right, I think Vice, Aika and Finna should get together and design our new flag. Being a Prince of Valua, I don't think it is my place to design an air pirate's flag, but I can't judge any ideas that you have. Okay, so you, you don't want to be the captain and you don't want to design a flag? Are you just going to be luggage here or are you going to do anything about this ship? What? You want me to design one too? Sure, why not? It would be fun. Just give it a try. I'm sure it'll be adorable. Hey, Vice. I want to take a look around the Delphinus. Hell yeah. I think we all should. Let's spread out. We should split up and check out the ship. If something's wrong with it, it's better to find out now rather than in a heat of battle. Sounds good to me. Break time, everyone. Meet back at the bridge when you're done. Okay, good. 
So, let's explore the ship. Well, here is a storage compartment. What's this? Is something in there? Let's open it up. Hey, Marco! Ah, long time no see, Vice. Marco, what are you doing here? I heard that the Prince's ship was finished and being prepared for departure. So I snuck on board and I was planning on escaping Valuia in it. Well, I'd heard that the Prince was a really nice guy, so I figured he wouldn't kill me for trying to escape, well, at least not right away. But I never would have thought that you, of all people, would get your hands on that ship. At least now I don't have to go looking for you. Where, what? I'm going to travel along with you, whether you like it or not. But don't worry, I'll stay out of your way, okay? Ah, you're pretty pushy there, kid. Ah, why not? I'll make you my first crew member! Marco has joined your crew, as a sailor. He will not be joining us in battle, that is, a crew member that is there to man the ship, because Delphinus is an enormous ship and needs a lot of people to be functional. And we get another Moonberry, very nice, but I cannot use it right now because I need four of them to be able to learn uh, Fina's next attack. Okay, Jilder, what do you have uh, to say to us? Hey there, Vice. Have you finished looking around the ship? There's something that I need to talk to you about. Uh, yes, I've pretty much seen everything I wanted to. What did you want to talk to me about? Well, actually, I want to tell you in a cutscene. I'm leaving. I'm going to head back and meet up with the Claudia. What? I figured this is probably my only chance to escape, to escape from Clara. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty much. I don't think I'm ready to settle down just yet. Oh, you sly dog, you. Sure you are, you guys make a really cu cute couple. Yeah? Hey. Guys don't even joke about that. The bachelor's life is the life. Haha, <laughs> alright, alright, sorry I couldn't resist. But seriously, we're all going to miss you. Thanks. Before I go, I have three pieces of advice for you. Oh, sounds serious. First, you'll need to get a crew. A crew? Yes, with a ship this size, you'll need a lot of crew members to take care of the specific duties. Get a good watchman, a cook, a gunner. I'm sure there are plenty of skilled sailors out there uh, who will join fight. Uh, who will join the fight against Valua, yes. If you run into anyone who can help you, bring them aboard. The more crew members that you have, the better your ship will operate. Well, we want good crew members, not just anyone. Second, you'll need a base. You'll need a place for repair, to repair your ship, and your crew will need warm beds and warm meals every once in a while. Your father has his own base, right? You said it was on Pirate Isle. Well, you'll need your own headquarters as well. What about that deserted island that I found you on? I believe it's called Crescent Isle. Oh, that's a nice name. That island looks uh, just about right. Why don't you head back there? Okay. And most of all, no matter what happens, never give up. I don't know if you've realized it yet, but you've accomplished a lot so far, especially for someone your age. You've escaped from the Valuant Coliseum, crossed the South Ocean, found Deckard's treasure, defeated three of the admirals of the armada, took two of the gigas out of commission and escaped from the Grand Fortress twice. We are heroes. For some reason everyone seems to follow you, myself included, even though you're a little crazy and that we are. Actually it's because no, ba no matter what happened, you never give up. Anytime, anytime something stands in your way, you never let it stop you. Your crew knows that you will always do everything in your power to protect them, I can tell by the way they all look at you. And on this bridge, with this ship, you're going to sail around the world. I know I'm going to sail around in circles because you just spin the wheel a uh, full circle. You're go you're probably run into things ten times more dangerous than you've already faced, but no matter what happens, don't give up. If you follow my advice, you'll accomplish things that you never even dreamed of. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, Jilder, where are you? Oh no, it's Clara. Sorry, Vice, I can't stay and chat any longer. She'll catch me and it'll be all over. See so long, Vice. I hope to see you again someday. Well, me too. You're a cool dude. I usually just sail around in search of fun, but the time I spent sailing with you was probably the most fun I've ever had. Keep it up, kid. 
Oh, don't worry, we'll be cast into prisons in a, a lot together in the future. Thanks for everything, Jilder. Yes, you did help a lot. Oh, Clara. Oh, Vice. Hey, Vice, why did Jilder run off in such a hurry like that? Oh, he said that he was uh, going back to the Claudia. What? Well, I've got to catch him right away. He's not getting away from me that easily. Yeah, reach for the stars. Well, it looks like Jilder is going to need more luck than me. Oh, I wouldn't uh, be so hasty in my judgment there. You're going to need a freaking lot of luck. By all standards, you should have been dead ten times by now. You are incredibly lucky. I can't believe it. I'm finally the captain of my own ship and the Delphinus is quite a ship. Alright. Let's go full speed to Crescent Isle! Jilder has left the party, unfortunately, but Enrique has joined the party in his stead. He is not as good at all. But uh, we'll see about that. In truth, the Delphinus has not yet been completed. The hull hasn't been fully reinforced yet, so it would probably be impossible to fly through some... Uh, to fly through stone reefs at this point. Oh. And the engine's output settings haven't been properly adjusted yet either, so we probably won't be able to fly through sky rifts. Damn! However, if we can find some way to fix the hull and the engine, I'm sure sky rifts and stone rifts would uh, pose no problem for this ship. Well, that's something at least. Okay, but we are going to explore the new possibilities that uh, the Delphinus is opening up for us in the next episode. So. Thanks you guys for watching, this has been uh, Vysol playing some Skies of Arcadia Legends, and I will see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching!